Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And today we're going to explore the lower cowling flush modification that can be done via STC. Again, this STC is from Maynard Crosby, and it makes the bottom of the lower cowling for those two plates look like the lower cowling for the cheetah and the tigers. So stay tuned for some more information. So we would like to ask you, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notify to stay current with our content. Okay, so this is what the finished product is going to look like. Now, it has not been prepared yet for primer and paint to match the lower cowling, but the flush mount has already been done. All the pieces have been assembled. All the riveting has been done. It's now been ready to be test fit on the aircraft. But again, this is what it's going to look like if you modify your existing lower cowling on a two place to have the flush mount modification like the cheetah or the tiger. Now, let's take a little bit more about how we accomplish this first off you're going to want to make a template of where you're going to be cutting your lower cowling and you're going to make it out of thick paper and you're going to want to make one and you're going to want to use it then you're going to want to lay out where the doubler and the attach points go because you're going to be putting an opening on both sides along the whole bottom a big rectangular piece is coming out of the lower cowling and you want to strengthen that with a doubler and also as a place to attach the lower piece that you're going to be making which will be holding the exit ramps and then after you have it all laid out then you're going to come back and you're going to drill and countersink all the holes because you're going to be using flush rivets and let me take a moment here to thank Russ Patron out in Colorado. He is making this flush modification with the STC he got from Maynard Crosby on his 1970 AA1. So here you go, folks. Here's the work that he did to make this and accomplish this. And it is a really nice looking job. He took his time. You don't have to be talented. You just need, again, like I say in a lot of my videos, take your time and do a good job. You want it to look nice when you're all finished. Now I like making my templates out of a thick cardboard and that way you can cut it and trim it and it acts a little bit more like the aluminum that it's ultimately going to be. But you will want to make a template and you're going to spend a lot of time fitting it to make sure you get it right. And you'll make markings on the template of where you need to make adjustments when you go to actually get the metal piece that's going to finish it up. But again, you're going to be doing a lot of test fits and then eventually you're going to start having holes in it using Clecos. By the way, Clecos are a wonderful tool if you don't have some you'll want to buy some and then once you get your template kind of close now you're really checking tolerances and clearances because the airplane's going to vibrate anything coming through this area is going to want to wear and chafe on whatever it hits so again you're going to want to check this many many times to make it look like a nice piece and when you have everything all cut out then you're going to want to have a nice flat workbench so you can start the process of beginning the assembly and then here we go with the doubler in place on the lower cowling and as you can see there is a cart there for moving it around the hangar just to make it easy because it is flimsy and you don't want to be hurting it until it's all reassembled and then you just have two more bits to add to the bottom and those are going to be the exit ramps for taking the air that's been worn by the Ellinger and exiting it out of the lower cowling so ladies and gentlemen here it is ready for paint yes I know but we hope you found all this useful and informative on the lower cowling flush mod and again I'd like to thank Russ Patron for supplying me with all these pictures if you have a project like this on your airplane get a hold of us we'd like to help you through it so again ladies and gentlemen we hope you found all this useful and informative thanks for watching and have a great day flying your Grumman so you've met Freckles, our cat supervisor, but here are the new cats destroying the Avery Island Tabasco pepper that sits by her back door. So I thought you'd enjoy watching them destroy something that doesn't belong to you.